We have Menelik on this side, and then we have uh, we have Taitu on the back. <laughs> and I am having fun. I'm dressing all the colors and everything. I look Okay, so hello guys, I'm at the Adwa celebrations today. I am dressed in all of this. These are the Ethiopian national colors. There's the yellow, red, and then green, as you can see. And then we have Menelik on this side. And then we have uh, we have Taitu on the back. It looks really good. I'm really, really excited. And yeah, uh, this is Maingi. Welcome to the channel. Um, this is Johannes Kirma. I'm a friend of, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's a friend. Uh, he, yeah, they're hosting me. They're showing me around. They bought me this shirt. It's really nice, really exciting. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to say I'm a Saganala. I'm a Saganala. Yeah. So just giving a guide service for him. He's yeah. our brother. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. So today I'm at Adua. I'm in the Adua celebration. I'm walking towards Menelik Square. Okay. Get in the frame. Say hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Kanal. Yeah. And I live in Addis. Okay. I'm one of uh, his subscribers. Okay. And uh, we are celebrating the Adwa ceremony, the victory day of Adwa. Okay. It's one of the Pan African uh, starting point of the Pan African movement in other stuff. Okay. We will see uh, when we get it. Okay. I mean, do they mind? I don't. Uh, look at this. So guys, we're at the Adwa celebration. Everybody's taking pictures. Everybody's dressed all nice. Look at this. This is Kalab. And this is his dad. They're my hosts. He has the Ethiopian tricolor on the whatever. And yeah, so they are dressed in traditional clothing. And yeah. Finally, I'm here and I am having fun. I'm dressing all the colors and everything. I look, I apparently look more Ethiopian than Kenyan at this point. Okay. Um, okay, so guys, as you can see, I'm at the Adwa celebration, dressed in the nice guy. And yeah, we're just walking around. There is the church there. It's the St. George Church. How do you say it in America? St.
Um, I'm still at the St. George Cathedral in Addis Ababa, and we're still doing the celebration of the, yeah, and, uh, and the, he, he's preaching. What is he talking about? Uh, he's preaching about uh, how St. George helped us at the Battle of Hadra. Okay. Well, guys, we're headed to the next place. Where is it? Menelik Square. And yeah, um, church here is always crowded. Um, I'm being told there's always no space to, you know, sit down. And yeah, it's very crowded, <laughs> is the basic point. Yeah, and it's been exciting. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the Ethiopian tricolor on my forehead. And it, they're also the colors of the church, right? Yeah. Yes, they're also the colors of the church. And yeah, it has been very fun and exciting so far. I'm not I'm not tired at all, for real. Uh, and you can see the background with everything. And yes, <laughs> uh, anything you want to say? Yeah, Adwa is for Ethiopia and for the motherland. Yeah. 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 Of the whole black people. For, uh, the victory of the whole yeah. people. Yeah. Celebrating this uh, program with mm -hmm. uh, our brother. Yeah. Uh, we are happy to be with him. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be with all of you as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys could see in the background, but there is a St. George. Um, St. George is a saint who helped Ethiopia win the yes. battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, yes. So the that battle... That's the sickness of the victory. Yeah. So it's about God as well as unity of the people. Yeah. Yeah. It's not only our power. Uh-huh. And the power of God. In my videos, you've seen me talk a lot about Shalala and Fukera. I'm going to show you what that is in a minute. everywhere all all over these are all people celebrating adwa okay kalu what do you think about adwa so far okay uh, adwa is a victory of africans okay mm -hmm. and also it shows how unity can make okay. if we unite we can make a lot okay. we can we can okay. do we can make uh, anything like uh, unity is a strength okay it shows that okay yes okay so guys here Square, in the of there is Abuna Petros, St. Peter, and yeah, we are, these are one of the monuments. Okay, so when the Italians were trying to take over the country, uh, he said, he basically said, no, you're not going to take over my country, and yeah. Okay, so tell us about Abuna Petros. Uh, 
is uh, Tibetan Orthodox Church in that time. Uh -huh. It's a popular church in yeah. that time. Yeah. And, uh, they want to handle the country colony for the people by the Christian leaders. Yeah. So we say this is not the way. They have their own countries. Okay. All peoples are equal. Okay. No, no one is above us. Okay. All of that. This is our country, yeah. so don't give a uh, hand for them. Okay. And he, he killed by that uh, uh, time, memory in uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's why he did say. Yeah. What do you think about? Well, tell us a bit about Saint Peter. Okay. Uh, and, uh, this is the statue of. This is uh, this is the start of the city. Yeah. And this is one of uh, our heroes. Uh -huh. it, they were trying to make a religious leader to announce that you guys are colonizing. Yeah. But the Ethiopian people were accepting at the time of Italian invasion. Yeah. And uh, he shows uh, how uh, the, his love, his patriotism for his uh -huh. people. And uh, that these heroes are one one who are responsible that we are proud at this time okay. we are not colonizing uh -huh, so uh -huh. i really thank my hero uh, amuna petros okay and as an, as an orthodox he's a saint for me he is a saint for you yeah this area is, uh, is around the, the mirror's office the, in the other side of the what do you call this area uh mazaka javit mazaka javit mazaka javit and that was kalab he told us a bit about amuna petros and all of that this is what black means see see Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Behind us, that's the mayor's office. It has a clock tower, and yeah, he's just as well. And then there's the flags right there. It has a clock tower right there. That's it. So, hello, everyone. I'm walking in the old city. This is Piazza. Uh, this is where the cool people live. This is the where you find the old architecture in Addis. You can you explain more? Yeah, uh, most buildings around here are built at the time of invasion of Italy and uh -huh. uh, at the time of Addis. Uh -huh. So that's why we consider this area as old. Light rail transit service. We are in the underground section. Those are the stations. Uh, where are we? We are here. Uh, Menelik Square. Look at this. This is the Menelik Square of the Addis. I don't know where the trains are supposed to go through and then on that side, that side as well. And this is the last station then on the service. Yeah, the last station for the... Yeah. Menelik, the second square. Yeah. Yeah. Ethiopian Railways Corporation. Ethiopia... Well, what is this? Yemeder. Yemeder. Ba... Babur. 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 Corporation. Corporation. I'm in the train station. I'm gonna walk out now, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing much to see because the train's not there, but we got lucky, so there's nobody here. So you're kind of lucky. Okay, so guys, where are we? We are Adwa Adwa Bridge. Adwa Bridge. What's the significance of Adwa Bridge? Adwa Bridge shows the shows the victory of Adwa, and also it's the it's considered as the starting point of uh, peoples from. Add is moving towards the battlefield. That's Adwa written in Fidel and then Ethiopia. And then you can see the paintings and like. We should follow our uh, ancestors. Which is a victory for all Africans. This is absolutely tough. Yeah. If you guys were wondering how it's written in America, yeah. if you're not Ethiopian, then that's how it's written. And then that's green. Are you two Ethiopian? Okay. Guys, you can see above, this is a war strategy for the king and all of the people around you could see them mentioned they're like they were like kings of the of the other kingdoms there were also other kings within different regions who all came together 
and formed a strategy to basically protect the country.